Hello everyone, this is Ronnie coming to you today with brand number five in the series. If it's your first time coming across this video, I do a little series talking about different brands, anywhere from outdoor brands to high-end fashion that you could find at thrift stores, yard sales, estate sales, so on and so forth, and then flip it either on other websites as eBay, Craigslist, um, and so on and so forth, consignment stores, however you do your thing. So this is brand number five in the series, Luci Luciano Barbara. It's an Italian brand. Um, find this brand here and there, um, and it usually sells fairly quickly, fairly well, if priced right. But... Um, do a screen share and we'll check into eBay and see how it does. You see right here, um, they make men's and women's clothing, it looks like here. So we'll check out the men's clothing, is that's what I like best. You got pre owned checked. You see right here, some of the suits are selling fairly well. Um, let's look here. Pants. Pants seem to do fairly well. They seem like they got it's a nice looking pair of pants, actually. But, um, some decent prices came across these pair of pants. You see right there, there's only 69 that have sold and 72, so... Has about a 50% sell-through rate. Not not bad, really. But uh, let's go back here and check out a different clothing. Um, sport coats and blazers. So right here, they actually got pretty good money for a few of these. There's 64 that have sold. I've sold a few. I sold a cashmere one for like 120 130 or something sold on a nice, um, cashmere and camel hair and wool blend one a while back for like 122 but um they seem to sell fairly well sport coats here i mean 50 and up i mean a lot of them are seeming to sell in that higher price point 90 100 here like again let's see 64 have sold and 74 unsold so yeah it's not the greatest sell through rate technically um but they're moving i would say over two months they're selling you know 50 percent. so it might be something you actually have to hold on to for a little while to sell it but if you can get into it at the right price it might be something very good see suits Suits tend to bring pretty good money also, as we see right here. Yeah, it's about 50% on the suits, too. So, not too shabby. Uh, let's check out one of these here and see if we can see what the tags look like. Well, that's from a shop in Boston, Louis of Boston. I actually closed not too long ago. Um, but that's the name right there. Let's see if we can get a better picture of the tag. Sometimes they'll be made from a certain company like that, so you'll see um, tags like that. And it could be for other clothing brands, etc. All right, here we go. It's kind of what their tag looks like right here for most of their clothing. But, um, you know, they're made in Italy. I believe all their stuff is made in Italy. See if their shirts, I've not picked up any of their shirts really. And 64, I've sold and, and, they go down pretty quickly. So I would say, or unless you're getting in a shirt 
extremely cheap or maybe it's some type of really special shirt like this one's a cashmere that 100 cashmere shirt um a lot of these others seem to be hit or miss as to why they're getting um great prices yeah because these people from what they're selling for these people asking 120 100 100 100 um that tends to look like it's a bit overpriced from what they're selling for i mean so um let's see back here they had women's clothing let's check out the women's clothing 74 pieces i actually have a women's cashmere uh jacket that i have listed right now but um women's pieces don't seem to bring nearly as much we said there's 79 sold and the men's wow the women's does not have a good sell through rate as you see there it's, i mean 79 80 pieces that's about a 33 percent so every month seven you're looking at like a 17 18 percent monthly sale through rate so um yeah the women's is selling a lot slower than the men so it's not as desirable but <laughs> there's the one jacket i have but uh yeah, I mean, men's clothes definitely. Women's, I guess, depends on what price point you get into it. Maybe what um, fabric is in it and so on and so forth. But um, see if any competition's in the area. But, um, yeah, well, and this and... Go back. But I mean, it's a decent brand. It does fairly well, but you know, certain things may do better than others, certain materials. So if you can get into it at the right price, um, do your own research and figure out where you can do. But for the most part, it looks like a pretty solid brand. I've sold a few different pieces from that brand and have done very well. But um, you keep liking these videos. Keep giving me a thumbs up. If you don't, give me a thumbs down. And um, we'll see you later. Peace out. Bye-bye.